uh, around the markets uh, as we cross into 2023. Well, really, our next edition will be in the new year. But let's take you outside our shores first and tell you that Asian's equities rose today as investors looked up to the end of the year on an op optimi uh, optimistic note after U.S. data showed the Federal Reserve's aggressive monetary policy was dampening inflationary pressures, even as worries over COVID-19 cases in China persist. Now, MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares outside Japan rose 0.71%. But it's set to end the year down 19%. Its most horrible performance since 2008. Futures indicated European stocks were unlikely to retain the end of year chair, with the Eurostock 50 futures down 0.16%. German DAX futures 0.13%. FTSE futures down 0.01%. Imani futures for the SP 500 fell 0.10%. Japan's Nikkei rose 0.22%. Australia's ESX 200 index closed up 0.5%. China's blue chip index and the Shanghai Composite Index were both up 0.6%, while Hong Kong Hang Seng rose there Li 1%. The Securities Commission of the Bahamas is holding FTX assets worth $3.5 billion to deliver them to customers and creditors who own them. FTX's digital assets in Bahamas have been transferred to digital wallets after the company and its affiliates filed for U.S. bankruptcy in November. According to the executive director of the commission, Mrs. Christiane Rowley, FTX founders Mr. Sam bankman fried and Mr. Gay Wang have no access to the tokens that were transferred or frozen. All transferred assets were and remain under the sole control of the commission. Meanwhile, Russia's finance ministry says the maximum possible shares of Chinese yuan in its national health wealth fund has been doubled to 60%. Uh, this is to reduce dependency on currencies from so-called unfriendly nations during rainy days. The ministry added that the permitted, uh, the permitted shares of gold uh, in the NWF will also be doubled to 40%, while balances in British pounds and Japanese yuan had been reduced to zero. Russia's deficit budget has been financed through the NWF, which stood at $186.5 billion as of December 1st. Crude oil prices recorded a uh, mixed trading today on track for their second straight uh, annual gains. Well, although more destined a stormy year marked by tight supplies because of the Ukraine war, strong dollar and weakened demand from the world's top crude importer. China, U.S. West Texas intermediate crude remains in the red zone, selling at $77.97 per barrel, with a price decline of 0.55%. Brent crude features also experienced a downward price review of 0.37% to sell at $83.15 per barrel. Bonnie Light sells at $81.48 with a downward price margin of 0.20%. And for the OPEC basket, crude oil dealers are offering $81.14 per barrel with an uptick of 2.24%. Whether that's a package, for today and indeed for the year. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Uh, on behalf of the entire production crew, uh, from all of us here, we wish you a happy new year. Let's do this again in 2023 and beyond. Stay safe. I'll see you.